Prince Harry and Meghan Markle hurt over Archie and Lilibet's titles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are happy living in California but remain scarred by the row over Prince Archie Harrison, and Princess Lilibet's titles, Omid Scobie's new book claims. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are still hurt by the row over their children's titles, a royal biographer's new book claims. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Endgame says the Sussexes are happy with their life in the US, but are still upset at the time taken to approve Prince Archie Harrison, and Princess Lilibet's royal titles. Omid Scobie, author of the bombshell book which was published at midnight, says according to convention the children's titles should have automatically been changed when King Charles ascended the throne. He claims the monarch avoided the subject at first, but told Prince Harry he would make it official in early 2023, but the book says the subject was mentioned to Prince Harry by the King Charles's press secretary later. The delay in updating the children's titles on the Buckingham Palace website reportedly led Harry and Meghan to compare their experience to that of Prince William and Princess Kate. A friend of the Sussexes told Scobie the pair find it hard to feel comfortable with how their children are treated compared to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. But it does very little but rehash what is already out there and glorify Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as royal martyrs, who were forced to dish the dirt because King Charles refused to apologize for their alleged ill-treatment behind palace walls. It starts with a thoughtful tribute to Queen Elizabeth II, reflecting on her tireless dedication to service and ability to pull the nation, and the world, together in times of crisis. But Scobie uses this to show that Charles is everything our beloved late Queen was not, interfering, unenthusiastic and tainted by scandal, and attempts to lead readers to the conclusion that our King is simply not fit for the job. Meghan Markle reportedly resented that Prince Archie was treated differently to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, according to a new royal book. Omid Scobie's endgame details how Prince Harry believed his son Prince Archie faced more security threats, but less security. Within the book, Scobie claims that Prince Harry believed his young son to be under serious threat, while the children of Prince William and Princess Kate had a bigger security team. Scobie mentions in his book that Meghan Markle came under significant criticism before the birth of Prince Archie, with many conspiracy theories, spreading around the Duchess of Sussex faking her pregnancy. After the Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the royal family, the pair needed to find new ways to work and make money. They secured Netflix and Spotify deals, both of which were short-lived and not overly successful other than their docuseries Harry and Meghan. But now, a royal writer claims that Meghan Markle could be the next Martha Stewart. Omid Scobie, who today released bombshell book Endgame, suggested the former actress could follow in the footsteps of the American TV cook and personality. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to be losing their influence among American fans after Omid Scobie's eagerly awaited book on the royal family barely received any TV coverage. The explosive book, Endgame written by the journalist was billed as a penetrative investigation into the parlous state of the modern royal family. As well as a unique insight into the monarchy's fight for survival, however, despite these claims, the book struggled to make waves in America. As Endgame had barely been mentioned on major TV networks and only sporadically on social media, this seemingly suggests the Sussexes appeal could be diminishing. Despite initial hesitancy, Prince William and Prince Harry eventually came to accept the now Queen Camilla as part of their father's life, a new book has claimed. Omid Scobie, in his new bombshell book Endgame, called Camilla an anchor for King Charles, which forced his sons into accepting her. The author claims that before Camilla and Charles' marriage, there was reluctance from the palace to accept her. Prince William and Kate's marriage remains solid despite Harry and Meghan onslaught. 
Prince William and Princess Kate's relationship is still utterly solid, in spite of damaging claims made about their family by Prince Harry in his autobiography Spare. In his memoir, published in January this year, the Duke of Sussex lamented his position as the spare to his older brother's heir, leaving royal author Omid Scobie with questions over how the Wales is planned to raise their own two spares, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. In his latest book Endgame Mr. Scobie details his discussion with an inside source about William and Kate's difficulties parenting their younger children, who reiterated that the couple will always support each other no matter what.